a greetings. So this is going to be another general energy reading for the Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. I do hope that this reading resonates for you all, but because it is general, it may or may not. So please be sure to check out your rising and your moon placement as well for added clarity. You also can book a personal reading with me. I'm sorry. There we go. You also can book a personal reading with me um, or you can book me for any of my other services. You also can purchase my Flower Power Water, which is a self-love spray. Um, it also does attract a love and abundance towards you as well. So you can purchase that at my website. It is on the screen and it is also linked in the description box below. Thank you all so much for those of you who have supported me in any way, old or new. I really appreciate you all. If you are new here, welcome. It would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's see. So, Capricorn, we're going to be seeing why you and a particular person are not communicating, okay? This is for August 2019. I think I said that already. But... Okay. Let's see. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Also, if anyone is interested in daily pick a card readings or sell price readings, you can follow me on Instagram at Insight. It is also linked in the description box below. I tend to post sales on there once a week. So, they're very random. But I try to remember to do it. Okay. All right. So Capricorn. Hmm. Okay. So we have the King of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. We have the World or the Will of Fortune and the Five of Wands. Have we have the High Priestess and the Star card. And we have the Six of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so we have here Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius. Um, also could be dealing with the Capricorn like yourself or a Taurus or a Virgo. Also have some fire energy here, so could be a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. But it can be any sign, okay? Um... Let's see, why is this King of Pentacles reversed with the Page of Wands? I feel like something grew stagnant. Yeah, we got the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords in reverse. So this could have been a business situation for some of you, or this could have been a marriage or a commitment, a love commitment at some point between you and another person. I feel like someone was stagnant and someone was still wanting growth or wanting to move forward in something um maybe this person who was wanting to move forward cut the situation off i feel like someone was staying stuck in immature ways within a situation as well okay let's see why is the will of fortune here Woo. Okay, so we have the King of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Page of Swords. So I feel like this person is wanting to work with you, Capricorn. This person is wanting to work something out or just figure out how they can be a benefit to you and you be a benefit to them or to work something out. I feel like this person does want to apologize because they've had some time um, to think about the situation, I feel as well. Um, it also may have been a situation as well where this just was not a good time to happen for this person, whether it was something that have been going on for a long time or it was something that just started I feel like this person needed to reevaluate re some things and figure out how to turn some things around for themselves um why is this five of wands here okay so we have the six of swords the death card in reverse and the magician could be dealing with the scorpio or 
a Gemini Virgo or Aries. Um, I feel like there still may be some tension here because maybe you cut this person off. And they're upset that you cut the situation off in the way that you did or for the reason that you did, even though now they understand. Or it could just be, you know, the leftover energy of how things ended between you and this person um, is still lingering in it for them and kind of complicating things on their behalf of why they're not communicating or opening up or initiating something with you. I feel like if this person were to communicate with you, they... Have the two of swords in reverse. Why is the high priestess in reverse? Temperance card in reverse. So I feel like this person would, you know, say they're not completely sure about um, how they feel completely about the situation. I feel like they've come to terms on certain things. But other things they're still trying to get together because I think there's there's an understanding that some feelings that they have in regards to the situation between you and them is stemming from a place of emotion and not logic or what actually may have happened in a situation. We also have the strength card. So we have Leo energy. We also have Sagittarius energy and yeah, I said Cancer and Aquarius already. So yeah, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So I feel like they're trying to get stuck Trying to get out of there, trying to clear how they feel about the situation. Um, yeah, because for some of you Capricorns, I feel like in this particular situation, you may have cut someone off or you may have told someone about themselves, about how they were being stagnant, about how something wasn't growing or how they weren't putting forth enough effort or putting forth anything stable into whatever you two were dealing with in regards to one another. And I feel like this kind of threw this person or, or hit them in a place um, that still just doesn't make them feel too good is what I'm getting. We have the seven of swords. So I feel like you and this person will come back into communication with one another. Yeah, we have the page of cups as well. I feel like someone is going to apologize, but I just, I feel like this person, even though they've gotten better or they've been doing better, there's still a petty side to them. So I feel like they may come back in and apologize or try to reconcile things and then run away from the situation is what I'm getting or just putting a close to it. And for some people, it could be out of fright or for others, I'm getting that it's more so out of a place of pettiness. Like, well, you did that to me, so I'm going to do that to you. That kind of thing. I don't know what that's about, but I feel like this person may be coming back in. Um, not with the right, not coming, not stemming from the right places is what I'm getting. I feel like this person is still holding on to something that happened to end communication between you and them. Yeah, we have broken heart as your advice. And we have blossoming abundance. Hmm. And we have strategy. So I feel like you, your main focus needs to be how you can take this disappointment and, and move it into what you really wanted. Because for a lot of you Capricorns, I'm feeling like you were the one in the situation that wanted something to actually grow. And someone was being stagnant and whatever kind of interaction it was between you and another person. So I feel like they're not communicating with you because there's a pride or... Um, energy of them being upset or whatever it is about you kind of telling them how things weren't moving forward and how you wanted to end something with them or take a break from something or not work together on a particular thing. So um, I do hope that this resonated. Thank you all so much for all of your support. If you are interested in a personal reading, please check out my website down in the description box below and I'll see you all next time.